Hi, this is James from Simul, and in this video I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on getting TrueSky set up, along with some tips and tricks. I start off in Unreal's basic landscape, um, landscape mountains. Uh, this is so you can follow along. I haven't touched the scene at all. The only thing I've done is installed TrueSky. Uh, if you have not installed TrueSky, we have another video, and I'll link that in the description. So the first thing you need to do is delete anything ref uh, to do with the sky, like the sky box. Uh, the atmospheric fog, go, uh, all of these clouds, okay, and now we can initialize true sky, so window initialize true sky, uh, usually I'll just hit initialize, because uh, the install wizard will do it for you, but if you want to select a specific sequence, if you want to select the tutorial sequence, I can do that. There we go. If the scene is going very dark, this will be due to um, Unreal's post process. So if we find the exposure settings and set just for now, we'll set them both to one. There we go. And immediately you can see True Sky in action. So the first thing I like to do is to so this uh, initializing will have created a true sky actor and a true sky light. First thing I say on the actor is to go to meters per unit, but that's 0.1. This immediately brings the clouds down. Obviously this depends on your level or project, but I think this is a great way to get it intersecting with the clouds. So now we can increase the resolution. I usually stick about 512. Uh, many other settings we could go through here, but I don't want to go through them all because there is a lot. Uh, but if we go into the actual sequence set, this is what we use to control the clouds mainly in True Sky. So this keyframe is in relation to this current time, but because we've only got one, let's, for example, let's add another keyframe and set there to be no clouds. So at this time, there's no clouds. If we scale across, Clouds will grow. We could do this with all the different values, which is how high the clouds are. Clouds here to be quite high, down here quite low. And obviously, the time is changing. This is the time. So, there's many different things you could do with choose. Uh, one of the examples I'll go through right now is rain. Set this to be a bit day. Go down. We've got precipitation section. So we set the strength to one. We need to simulate once to actually get the precipitation. We'll have to simulate. With some audio, but that is not True Sky audio, that is from the level already. And I am not getting any rain. Or maybe we are, just not. Uh, let's check our precipitation settings. We have a translucent ventilation, so this is blank. So we go to pause this, go to our process, delete that one, uh, and we can go to uh, post process materials. Now, it has not been assigned automatically, that will have been because. There's two global post processes in the scene. So we can do it manually. Two sky translate. Now if we simulate the scene and we turn the rain back on. All this can be done at runtime. There we go. Very hard to see with the uh current settings, we can adjust them. 
go back to the true sky sequence exit, go to precipitation, we can increase the drop size, number of particles, and then we also have snow. Again, all these can be changed at runtime. So we change the time of day, the amount of clouds. Make some very deep clouds. And adjust the position. There you have it. There's a very quick and basic tutorial on True Sky. The next tutorial will be on how blueprints interact with True Sky, as well as a tutorial on how using cloud volumes. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Goodbye.